So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at this pen. This is the Lamy 2000 Rollerball. Uh, it's a fairly popular pen in the fountain pen uh, and less so in the Rollerball and Ballpoint. And there's also a four color version you don't see very often, but this is the Rollerball. And I've had the fountain pen and I finally picked up a Rollerball a couple months ago. So I wanted to talk about it. Uh, the good thing about the rollerball is it uses the same materials and the same design as the fountain pen, but it's available for much less. You could buy these used for uh, maybe like $50. New, I think they're maybe $70, so pretty affordable. Has the same uh, striated Macrolon body. The Macrolon is like a fiberglass or a plastic, it's hard to say. Uh, has that nice matte finish, and again with those the striations, striations metal clip i don't know what metal but it says lamy on there spring loaded high gloss plastic top or maybe that's macaron too i'm not really sure the uh metal tip there and these will vary the fountain pen and the rollerball the fountain pen has a little divot here so you can tell the two apart which is very cool actually the divot is uh at the top the fountain pen is flat this one has a divot something like that but you could look at the tops and tell the pens apart because without looking at it, the fountain pen and the rollerball look the same. I mean, sorry, without uh, taking the cap off, the two look the same. Similar design here. This has a uh, sort of a insert here that holds it in place. It's sort of a, a coppery looking material. It's a little hard to tell. Uh, this does stand. It has these little pieces here, and that is uh, how it is held in place. It holds on very well. It's a nice click, although I know a lot of people with their nicer pens prefer a screw top. I, I think this one works out really well. You can see it's a uh, brushed metal. I believe it's a steel, I'm not 100% sure. And it tapers down really sharply to the point. Uh, I know that there's a lot of mixed opinions about this sort of Zeppelin shape. Uh, some people love it. Some people find it hard to hold. On a roller ball, I find it to be less of a big deal than on a fountain pen where your grip tends to be something I think about more. Here, I don't have any problem with it. I like writing with this pen. I find it to be very comfortable. Uh, with a fountain pen, I feel like I'm fiddling with my grip a lot. I don't know where to hold it. I tend to go down too far. Then I overcorrect. Uh, less of an issue with a roller ball. There is a tiny, tiny seam right here, which you could probably just make out. Like right here, you probably can't see it unless if the light hits it. Uh, and what that is, is on the fountain pen, this would be how you move the piston up and down. On the roller ball, you replace the refill like this. Uh, this pen normally uses the Lamy M63. That's their capped rollerball refill. In this case, I've replaced it with this uh, Visconti Dream Cut, Dream Touch, which I think is a little bit nicer refill. You could get some other ones in here. Uh, I believe uh, Mont Blanc will fit, and then a few others, but this, uh, this is a nice fit right here. All you have to do to get that to fit in perfectly is get a little piece of eraser or some tape or something and just kind of cram it in the back here. Uh, it might be a little bit difficult to get out in the future, but it is doable. And then after that, this is a perfect fit. I've done a lot of writing samples with the uh, M63 and the M66 Lamy refills, so I won't get into that. I really just wanted to focus on this pen itself. So considering you can get these things for about maybe $60, uh, I think it's a really nicely made pen. You're getting almost all the qualities of a fountain pen, except you're getting your rollerball refill of choice, and you don't have to pay for that gold nib so you're saving, uh, you know, at least 60 bucks by going with the rollerball. Obviously the two aren't inter interchangeable, it's a different writing experience, but if what you really want to do is get a Lamy 2000 and, and learn about this Macrolon and, and the shape, I think this is a really nice way to go. It ends up being, uh, you know, for all intents and purposes, uh, the rollerball is a more practical pen than the fountain pen. As for the size, I know it's a little bit hard to tell from the pen on its own, so here we have Sharpie, just about the same length, 
the uh, the Lamy is a little bit fatter in the middle, but it has a really drastic taper, as you can see there. And it, it will sort of stay in place. It has these little ridges here, which will pretty much keep it in shape, uh, in place. Not, you know, against a five or 10 degree angle won't help, but on a flat desk, it'll, uh, it'll do the job. It does cap, it does, sorry, it does post, post really nicely. Uh, it's a fairly deep post. You can see where I'm at right there. And that's without applying much pressure to it, but you really can't go any further with the taper. So, and posted, it's uh, a little bit back heavy, but not terrible, fairly large but not monstrous. And here it is posted against that uh, Sharpie. Collapse everything back down. So we have the Sharpie, the rollerball. Here we have just a uh, Twisby Eco. Again, it's a fountain pen, not a rollerball, but just looking around what's on my desk. And then we have a ball graph. Paca. So the Lamy 2000, it's not a huge pen, but it's definitely a larger than your uh, average pen. You know, here's something like a, uh, an Acro Ball. One more we'll grab, and then here is uh, just a cheapo <coughs> fountain pen. Zebra, zebra something, not really sure. Kind of like the size and quality of a varsity. So there you have it, the Lamy 2000 Rollerball. Uh, long story short, I would say it's a nice pen. If you have the, you want a Lamy 2000, but you don't need a fountain pen, I would say this is a nice option. Uh, and it's nice, which you can get them for about fifty dollars off uh, eBay or some sort of used marketplace. Sell for a little bit more new but really for a very reasonable price considering uh the quality of the pen the shape is definitely hit and miss some days i really like it some days i uh i don't prefer it as much especially if my hands are feeling dried or in the winter time where you don't have a lot of grip but it can be very comfortable and it can be a lot of fun to use if you're gonna buy one of these uh definitely try to see if you can pick it up used they tend to uh turn over a lot and they tend to hold up really well. I've never seen one with any serious gouges or anything like that. Uh, the fountain pen is really the one to have between this and the rollerball. But uh, you know, if you're not using your fountain pen or just want something to keep at the office uh, for day-to-day -day use, then a rollerball is always a nice option. And you're getting all the qualities of that fountain pen outside of the nib with this. So pretty cool pen, pretty reasonable price. I would say I would recommend it, but not uh, not super highly recommend it just because of the hit and miss nature of that section. So yeah, that's it. The Lamy 2000 Rolling Ball. Thanks for watching.